Then, on my birthday, my parents told me they had a big <laughs> surprise. <Yeah. laughs> Happy yeah. birthday, Emily! Make a wish. What'd you wish for, honey? I can't tell, or it won't come true. You didn't, by any chance, wish for a dog, did you? <gasps> That's exactly what I wished for. Well, Mr. Bradley's dog had a litter of puppies last month. And he'd like to give you one. If you want one, that is. Oh, yes, I do, I do. Thank you. Why, hello, Emily Elizabeth. Come on in and meet all the puppies. There's the proud mama. Oh, they're all so cute. <laughs> hello, little puppy. <laughs> <laughs> that little red dog is so cute. He's the one I want. Oh, I don't know, Emily Elizabeth. That's the runt of the litter. What does that mean? Well, he's the smallest of the bunch, and he'll always be small. But he needs me. Are you sure he's the one, honey? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> and I'm going to name him Clifford, my small red puppy. Welcome to your new home, Clifford. Taking care of a dog is a big responsibility, Emily. You'll have to feed him and play with him and take him for walks. Don't worry, Dad. I'll take good care of my Clifford. <laughs> I know you will. Oh, here's a collar for him. We got this collar before you picked little Clifford. <sighs> I hope it fits. What to do? Oh, this will be perfect. Clifford, time to eat. There you are, boy. Uh-oh. You can't reach your food in that big bowl, can you? <laughs> well, we're just gonna have to think of something else, Clifford. Better, huh? I love you, Clifford. Dad, have you seen Clifford? Gee, no, Emily, I haven't. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> this little guy can fit just about anywhere. I hope he doesn't get himself into trouble. Aw, uh, don't worry, Dad. I'll take care of him. You're doing a great job. Gotta go. But mom, I want to say goodbye to Clifford. Oh, honey, we've gotta go. We'll be back in just a minute.
Thanks for the bread, Mr. Thompson. How much do I owe you? <gasps> oh my! Clifford! Clifford! Oh no! Emily, grab him! <laughs> What's going on? Don't worry, Mr. Thompson. I'll get him. Thompson, it won't happen again. Uh, Clifford and I promise. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. Clifford didn't mean to cause trouble. He just kind of got scared with all those people in there. I know, dear. I didn't even know he was in your purse. Neither did I. He's so tiny. But I love him, Mom. Just the way he is. Of course you do, Emily. But sometimes I worry about him being so small. I'm just going to have to find a way to help him grow. I'm sure you will. Mom says it isn't good for a dog to be so small, Clifford. So you have to eat up and get big and strong. But remember, I love you no matter what size you are. Good night, Clifford. You've grown! I believe you're right, Emily Elizabeth. Clifford has been growing. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Goodness, you keep growing like this and I'll have to get you a new collar, Clifford. Isn't it great, Dad? Whoa, 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 whoa. Good night, Clifford. I love you so much. Anymore. You're a big red dog! Wow, I've never seen anything like it, Emily. That dog is huge! I know! Isn't it great? Well, yes, it's nice. But a small apartment in the city is no place for a big dog like Clifford. <gasps> but I love him. I know. So, it looks like we're all just gonna have to move. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dad. But how can we move him? He doesn't even fit through the door anymore. We'll think of something. <laughs> I told you taking care of this dog wasn't gonna be easy. But he sure is worth oh. it. <laughs> he sure is. to Birdwell Island. Clifford was a big help when we moved into our new house. And we all made some great new friends. <laughs> and that's my favorite memory, the story of how I got Clifford. Woof, woof. My big red dog. Story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. 
Today's story is Speckle and the Sky High Apples. One day, Speckle, Ravi, Darnell, and Luna decided to pick some apples. On the way to the apple tree, they saw Reba playing on her pogo stick and invited her to join them. So she bounced along beside them. The apples on the tree were red and ripe and ready to be picked. Ravi tried to reach the apples, but the branches were too high. Speckle tried to climb the tree, but the trunk was too wide. Then Reba had an idea. Using her pogo stick, she bounced high up into the air, right up to the fattest apple of them all, and picked it. It looked like such great fun that everyone wanted to get their pogo sticks too. Soon they were bouncing and picking and laughing together. And in no time at all, they had gathered a basket full of ripe, juicy apples. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Welcome to Birdwell Island. him now, but they didn't always. What do you mean? When people first saw how big Clifford was, they thought he was going to be a big problem. I remember the day we first moved here. Clifford had grown too big for us to live in the city anymore, so we packed up everything and headed for Birdwell Island. I can't wait to get there, Clifford. There'll be lots of room to play, and we'll make lots of new friends. <laughs> Welcome to Birdwell Island. Thanks. My name is Pedro, and this is my good friend Victor. We're the Howards. I'm Mark, and this is my wife Caroline. Hello there. And I'm Emily Elizabeth. Well, hello, Emily Elizabeth. And this is Clifford, my big red dog. <laughs> Oh, hello, Clifford. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Yikes. Come on, everyone. Let's go see our new house. Bye-bye. See ya. <laughs> nice family. Big dog. And a very big dog could cause very big problems. They really thought Clifford was going to be a big problem? They sure did. But they didn't even know him. Sometimes people decide how they feel about someone before they get to know them. That's not fair. Clifford is a great dog. I know. But back then, Victor and Pedro weren't the only ones who thought he was going to be a big problem. Come on, dear. Let's go welcome our new neighbors. Yes, dear. Yoo-hoo! Hello, there. Well, hello. 
Hi, Violet Bleakman. This is my husband, Horace. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. I'm Caroline, and this is Mark. Hello. This is Emily Elizabeth. Want to meet my dog? Oh, well, sure, of course. Clifford! Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> oh, my goodness! Oh, oh Horace, that, 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 that dog is huge! And a huge dog means huge trouble. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, have a good day. <sighs> there it is, Caroline, the seashell. Oh, isn't it exciting, Mark? Our very own store. Hello, I'm Jetta Handover. Pleased to meet you, Jetta. Oh, we have all kinds of wonderful things. <laughs> Including our daughter, Emily Elizabeth. Mm. Hello, Emily Elizabeth. Hello. <gasps> what a beautiful dog. Hmm. Yes, I know. His name is Machiavelli. He's the biggest, bravest, fastest dog on the island. That's great. Want to meet my dog? belongs on our island. You do belong here, Clifford. I just wish people would take the time to get to know you better. is gonna be nothing but trouble. They seem like such a sweet family, but their dog is just too gosh darn big. And he slobbers too. Look, it's a fire. Looks like someone didn't put out their campfire very well. I just hope we have enough water in our tank to stop it. What's happening? Yeah, what is happening? What's going on here? Chief Gamble, can we help? Sure you can. The water tank on our truck's not big enough. We'll need to use those buckets to bring water over from the pond. Right, we're on our way. Okay, everyone, pass the bucket of water down. Keep it moving. Here it comes. Almost there. Ah. Oh, no. More water. We need more water. Mr. 
Maybe Clifford and I can help. That's real sweet of you to offer, but I don't think so. Look! That giant dog's drinking all the water. We won't be able to put out the fire. put the fire out. Well, Pedro, I guess we were wrong about this big dog causing big problems. Yeah, he never really caused any problems, big or small. And we never took the time to really get to know him. Let's start right now. Hello, Clifford. Ah. Welcome to Birdwell Island. Well, uh, I'm I'm a good dog. Well, Charlie, all those people who thought Clifford was a big problem learned something from him. Yeah, they learned that you have to give someone a chance and really get to know them before you decide if you like them or not. Right, Clifford? <laughs> why Clifford's big idea for today is play fair. Hurry, T-Bone. My turn is next. Okay, Cleo. I'm next, I'm next, I'm next, and then it's Max's turn. Okay, Cleo, your turn. Oh, boy. Hey. Whoa. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't fair. 